Welcome back to making an RDS sequel, Crucifer's Manifesto with Subpart Programming Skills, Part 6. Today I am still talking about 8-way movement, despite saying I would be working on enemies by now. Last time I made the animations, and today I dropped them all into Unity and made 4 new idols and 4 new walking animations for the habanero object to have. Then I went to the animator tree and started editing the blend tree to have 8 possible branches rather than 4. So far, so good. This was enough to actually play the correct diagonal animation in-game, but the coding logic wasn't there to rotate the firing point with the character or go to the correct idle when I stopped walking. I put all the idles into the animation controller and connected them to the movement blend tree, adding the logic needed to switch between them correctly. The code is where I had a bit of a hiccup. I went ahead and copied the logic I had, but basically checked two things rather than one. If horizontal axis was one and vertical axis was negative one, for example, then I knew I was walking down and to the right. Then I figured out where and what rotation to put the firing point such that it was in the right spot and fired the right way I was facing when walking diagonally. I went to test all of this to find that none of it had actually worked. I played around with several settings. Eventually, I didn't really know what was wrong and randomly decided to put a debug line in the else if statement for walking up and to the left. When I walked up and to the left, the console remained empty, telling me that this if statement was never being called to begin with. That's when I realized that I had been using an if statement for facing right, and an else if for everything else. If even one of these statements evaluates the true, then it won't check the other ones at all. When I only had four possible directions, this wasn't a problem because each if statement was mutually exclusive. But now, if I were walking up and to the right, for example, then the if statements for walking right, walking up, and walking right and up would all be true. Whichever one was written first would be called. So instead, I changed it to each be their own individual if statement. I think there's a better way to do this, like a switch case, but I would have to restructure some stuff. I could see that these diagonal if statements were in fact being called now, but it still wasn't moving the firing point. I toyed around with it for a while before suddenly realizing that I was basically still having the same problem with the logic. However, rather than just calling the wrong statement first and then ending it, I was instead calling all three statements at the same time, because I had not designed them to be mutually exclusive. What I needed to do was check both axes on the original non-diagonal statements. For example, the horizontal axis for moving to the right should be 1, which I was obviously checking before, but the vertical axis should also be 0, or neutral. I didn't specifically check for this, but now that I am, each if statement is mutually exclusive. This really frustrated me because I literally thought about doing this like a week ago when I was thinking about diagonal movement and it just completely escaped my brain. But for now, stay tuned for part 7 where I actually add enemies. Maybe.